Hey, welcome back to the channel. Before I get on with the presentation of how I made this ambrosia maple bowl, I want to do a quick announcement that uh, this is the video where we will be giving away this segmented solid cherry vessel with walnut base. The only thing you need to do to be entered in the contest is be a subscriber to our channel, post any comment you'd like below, and hit the thumbs up button. We'll make the announcement uh, November 15th. I'll do use a piece of software that will randomly scan all the comments and pick one lucky winner. There are some other rules and restrictions required by YouTube that we post up. You can read those in the description. So um, feel free to subscribe, post a comment, and give us a thumbs up, and that will help our video get out to more uh, folks out on YouTube, as well as enter yourself into the contest to win this free vessel. Thanks, and now we'll get back to the making of this bull. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Sapper Woodworking Channel. Today, we're going to do a little handheld commentary with the camera before we start our actual project. But today, we're going to be working on this bowl blank. I just got this yesterday at a garage sale hosted by the Central Indiana Woodworkers Association. And uh, initially, I thought this was spalted maple when I saw all this figuring on the end grain, but upon closer inspection, you can see these little holes, and that tells me that this is actually ambrosia maple. Now, spalted maple and ambrosia maple aren't actually uh, separate wood species. They're uh, named uh, wood that results in specific damage to the wood. So spalted maple, here's an ex example of that. It uh, is created by fungus and bacteria that gets into the wood when the wood starts to break down and rot, and if it's, uh, you know, if you take it through a proper technique, you could control the drying process and end up with uh, wood with striking grain patterns versus uh, ambrosia maple, which is caused by the ambrosia beetle that burrows into the wood and tracks in uh, ambrosia bacteria, which causes streaking. And the only sample I had of ambrosia is this bowl I made last year that I do have a video up of, and I will try to link it down in the description. And you can kind of see some of the effect that you get from the ambrosia beetle coloring of the wood and there is actually a part on here right there where you can kind of see the little holes in this particular bowl but i do have a video up on that you can check out and hopefully you like what you see in the turning process of making this bowl blank into a bowl and uh, just for a preview i will have an eventual video up on this segmented bowl made out of recycled skateboards and I'm in the process of also making another segmented uh, vessel out of uh, these walnut pieces with a lot of sapwood accents. So you know if you like this video and you get something out of it please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us with YouTube and getting our video and content out to more subscribers and what the heck it's also free as well. So just hit that subscribe button you see on the bottom of your screen or someplace on your phone and uh, we'll get on to mounting a Faceplate chuck on this and we'll get this thing starting to turn.